What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just call me a boy what that is. Hold up and watch that bitch in. Hey, shout out What Sleep TV, man. What Sleep TV. I ain't no sleep, motherfucker. Talk about how, like, the recording process been for you since you been back home. Like, I know you kind of saying you, it's kind of hard to find your flow now. Yeah. Like, explain what you mean by that. It ain't just, it, it's kind of like, I still got it. I think I'm I, I think I'm hard on myself to anything, bro. That's how it is. Like That's my niggas, thing, when everybody hit that shit, everybody be like, "Oh yeah, bro, you ain't lost nothing. If you ain't better, you don't. You ain't lost nothing." And that's good because I feel like where I was at, I was becoming like uh, one of the best versions of myself. You feel me? So just the whole time, like mm -hmm. before I came. Okay. I was, I think I was making the best music that I was going into a raw form for me. You feel me? So just to come back and still be on that same shit, but I think like. It's kind of hard because I, I want to put out some shit that's over exceeding. I'm saying, but I, I got I got good quality music. I always know that. My shit like everlasting. I make timeless music. I try to make shit that's going. I could drop this shit five years from now to still be. You feel me? Kept caught up with what's going on now. You feel me? Yeah, I got a good example of that. You sent me Roof. That's a good example of like a timeless song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You know if you're gonna do anything with that, that's just like that's some old shit, so you don't know. And I, I got some much shit I just ain't never dropped, bro. It's just like in uh, just sitting, just waiting. I just like you see, I dropped two tapes while I was in the jet. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you about that. And, I was like, yeah. And twenty, when I said when I dropped twenty one and twenty three, right. But I think all them shit's from two eight twenty eighteen, but they still roll like with the way that was in now. Bro, I was looking at the views on YouTube. Yeah. I was like, damn, you can your fans miss you like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the like you you if you look at my YouTube analytics, Hardaway Hardaway One K, that was like one of the top searches like yeah. throughout the whole twenty twenty two. Yeah. So I wouldn't be home. Exactly. Like that, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that I ain't been going like, two years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was, I was gonna ask you about that though. Like, so you obviously have to have a whole lot of music in the vault because yeah. you dropped two tapes while you was, like, you wasn't recording shit. Like, yeah. how much music would you say you have, like, in the vault for real? Right now? Yeah, if you, if you could put a number on it. Man, I can't even lie to you, bro. Like, I, it be shit my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you remember this? Man, yeah, hell, no, I don't remember this shit. Send me that. I don't even got that. You feel me? Like, it's so much shit I got that, that that's unreleased. I don't even know. I can't even tell you a number. Real, I got so much shit. That's I, a, that's I just a, be piecing together what's on my what's on the top of my head. You feel me? Right. So that kind of come from like you just want to stack your music and have like a nice catalog of stuff mm -hmm. to choose from, or is that yeah. your work ethic? Like that's, how hard is you work? I think that's my work ethic because like I push when I'm out when I work before I came. I used to go to the studio in the morning and at night. Like, I'd go to two different studios in the morning and at night, so I'm just recording. I have so much shit, but then it comes to perfection, too, at the same time. Like, it might be a, you might hear a song and say two bars. I don't think two bars sound right. I ain't going to drop it. You feel me? Like, but I, I, it's still a good song, though. You feel what I'm saying? So I still have it in the cut. It's just different little shit. Like, I stack music up. It's just about perfection with me. Like, it's just really an art. To me, and so that's I think that's how I stepped up a lot of music. But I like I say I still got shit to drop now that I ain't even you feel me. Is your love for music still the same since you got on? Yeah, it, it, it faded at first. It faded cause you know they go through dark times and them, themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, I I feel like I probably wasn't even gonna make it back, bro. Like for real, like I knew I was gonna make it back, but when you you you, you first going through that shit, I did in my first case. So when you heard. You facing five years to 40 years, like, first jump, that shit seemed long as hell, because I can remember when the homies was gone for like a year. I'd be like, damn, nigga been gone for a long time, so I'm thinking like, damn, I'm finna go take a five, or they, they trying to force a, force me to take a 10 or whatever, like, shit have fucked me up, like, man, I ain't even doing it. like, it's over with. Sometimes you feel like your dream is over with. It's a lot of niggas that, 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 that don't got long enough, but the system be so hard on their mental, like they dreams feel like it's over with. But you feel me? You never know how that shit gonna be till you step back out there. But 